Thank you very much, Sandra. Well, we promised you some inspiration today, and that's what we're going to deliver. Of course, the home renovation show is happening this weekend at Lansdowne Park, starting Friday right through to Sunday. And one of the faces you will see there is Paul Denise. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Angie. From Denae's Builds Designs, and today we are specifically going to take a look at one of your projects in particular. That's right. Called the Patterson House? That's correct. Okay. And this is a kitchen renovation, kitchen dining. That's correct. Uh, and wow, what a renovation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, major transformation. Yeah. 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 So when you were choosing the materials uh, for this renovation, you brought in sort of uh, a nice a sample here of the materials that you use within this kitchen renovation. What was it about all of these materials that you thought should go together? Um, the client particularly wanted a very authentic or natural material. Mm -hmm. She didn't want anything that was faux this or faux that. Okay. So one of the choices we chose here or were considering was soapstone and one of the unique properties of that is it's uh, watery permeable so it won't soak anything in. What you're touching right there is the, how it actually looks when it comes out of the uh, quarry mm -hmm. and then you put a mineral oil on it and then it comes with these deep dark greens and blacks and uh, white veinings in it. So how did you use this stone then? That's the countertop material. This is the countertop. That's the countertop. Now, why is this uh, ideal for a countertop? It doesn't absorb? It doesn't absorb any type of um, uh, liquid. It's, okay. it's naturally hydrophobic, meaning that it nice. repels water, basically. Okay. Now, this was chosen for the floors. That's correct. This is? It is Scotia slate from Nova Scotia. It's mm. a very nice material. It's one of the only slates that you can use outside. It's very salt resistant. It's very durable. Okay. Plus, it has a very dramatic range of colors. You'll get everything from this wonderful sort of off-green color, mm -hmm. but it'll go to the deep purples and it'll have swirls of browns and rust colors in it. Very nice. The cabinets are gorgeous. Uh, this is a matte cherry finish. Um, one of the reasons why we go for matte finishes is because uh, when there are scratches, you won't see them as readily. So it's like, mm -hmm. you know, you don't want a white cat and a, and a black rug. You don't right. see everything there. <laughs> We're in terrible time. Now, how is this glass used? This is acid etched glass. It looks like sandblasted glass, mm -hmm. but when you put your fingerprints on it, it doesn't show the fingerprints as much. Oh, that's perfect so that, for the kitchen. <laughs> and and then the bar top was made out of a very thick glass, and one of our concerns was if we had a very polished edge, if there was a uh, uh, something to chip it, we, right. it's not going to look great, so yeah. we actually chipped all the edges, if you can see that. I love that yeah. look, too. Kind of distressed. So we're going to take a look at some more photos. We just took a look at a before and an after of the finished space. So now we're going to take a look at some more details. So this is inside the kitchen <laughs> before. What is going on in that fridge? <laughs> a little old Mac tack. It's, it's different, yeah. Okay, so this was before. And then this is, I just can't even believe that's the same home. That is the same home. That is unbelievable. So really, it was just completely redoing the space and just bringing it to life. Actually, we didn't do too much. We removed two walls and then re re reapplied cabinetry inside it, the space. Right. That looks fantastic. So here it is before. So there's, we see that wall that was dividing it between uh, the kitchen and the, and the dining table on the other side. And then you took that wall right out. Look how much that opened that up. Yeah, and that window that you see on the far end where the little window seat is, mm -hmm. it just really brings light right into that dining room, making it a not much nicer place to be yeah. beforehand. Hardly anybody spent time in that dining room. Yeah, now, it seemed very dark, yeah. Now it's the place to be. What are we seeing here? What is this that? is a pull-out uh, stainless steel countertop with a pull-out uh, appliance garage shelf. Wow. And there's the breakfast bar. We were just looking at the glass top with That's the rough correct. edges. And you see in the closet behind it. That looks fantastic. Wow. And there are so many different products out on the market now, like this. What is this that we're looking at? You're looking at here, you, you know the toe kick that you usually have on most cabinetry? Yeah. Well, that actually is a pull-out uh, drawer. Okay. That you can have, put like uh, cans, soup goods, that type of things in. Right. And you also notice there's an indoor light inside that uh, sort of what we call magic corner where it's a little bit of a train that comes out in terms of shelving. Yeah. And we have a little door trigger light switch that lights up anything that you need to get. So maximizing every last inch <laughs> of space there. Look at, take a look at that bar there. Just floating above there. Yep. Yeah, that looks absolutely beautiful. Now, I know that there were some other elements that you... Oh, look at this. <laughs> I loved this when I saw it. So you're sitting on the bench seat. You're reading the morning paper. You thought, okay, I went through the whole paper. You just toss it down the chute. Yeah, this is a product from Australia. Uh, these are uh, little ducks that go out to the outside to your blue and black bin. It goes right outside for you. Yep. That is a fantastic <laughs> recycling chute right there. Now, this is a look at the hallway before. Yeah. Okay, so this is the entranceway. And then, so afterwards, look at, okay, so we're seeing at the bottom of the screen there, we're seeing sort of a, a box there with rocks. 
What, what is that? What that is, is a little boot tray. It's a little stainless steel pan that has decorative polished rocks in it. The floor has a heated electrical mat underneath the tile, and this actually melts the snow off the boots for you. And the client uh, came up with a wonderful ad uh, idea of adding a little aromatic scent to the boot tray, <gasps> so now you don't get to have that stinky boot smell. Unbelievable. <laughs> so basically it'll dry your boots, they'll smell good, the whole house will smell good, so deodorizer as well. That's right. But, so there's water in there as well under the rocks. So That's right. Absorbing all the dirt. Yeah. So the floors you, you mentioned were heated, and they can actually cook a pizza on those floors if they want. <laughs> well, it actually rises the dough. It rises the, the, the dough, dough the for the bread. Wow, that would feel fantastic <laughs> on a Saturday morning when you're waking up on a cold morning. Well, fantastic. So, what do you think is the? I mean, the first step then. For, I mean, for these people going from the home that they had coming to see you, yeah. what is that first step? Uh, first step is to, to go out and see if you see anything that attracts you in terms of materials. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes there's nothing that attracts you, but I, I think you should explore, go to uh, the renovation show is a good place to start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, then you can ex experience different materials. I know in our booth we usually have a couple of samples so people can actually touch them and feel them because yeah. it's a new experience for them. They've never seen soapstone or something along those lines. Absolutely. And when you're just exposed and seeing yeah. it for the first time, you think, wow, that's going to be a... <laughs> you saw the website on your screen. Um, um, for Danae's Bill's Designs, check it out. There are some fantastic renovations on there that you won't believe. Definitely give you some more ideas. And, of course, the show this weekend at Lansdowne Park, Friday through Sunday, you will get more ideas. And we've got more coming up for you very shortly as well. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Angie.